What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Supermarket Simulator. Last episode we got the storage expansion mod installed and up and running here so we're going to actually be working on some of that today. It's it's the day we're going to reorganize this entire storage room. We're getting rid of our all of our organization that we worked so hard to get set up and everything so I'm a little sad to see that go but I think this is going to benefit us. At least give it a try. We can always add the organization back um, with that but if you guys are enjoying this be sure to drop a like on the video. Show it some love and support and if you guys are new around here checking this out be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. So you guys don't miss out on any videos that we're doing here. But um, without further ado, we're going to hop right into it here. We're going to keep... Honestly, we might not even open up the store for today. So this is going to be just kind of an organizational episode. We'll see how long it takes us. I do apologize. We are running shorter episodes here. As I've said in the last couple of ones, I've got a vac last second vacation that's actually coming up that I was not expecting to be doing. But uh, we are doing it. It's going to be an eight-day vacation for me, which is very much needed, honestly. So like I said, the episodes are going to be a little bit shorter because I've got like 20 episodes of between this and MLB and maybe po possibly some other stuff we'll see to record between now and Saturday, which I only have like two days to record all of that. So not very long. So like I said, I do apologize on that, but they will be returning back to normal episodes um, by the end of by the end of that. So but uh, yeah, without further ado, we're going to hop right into it here. So let's get we're going to start doing this right away, which we do have the uh, placement mod as well, which I don't know why. Oh, there we go. Which I know we don't really need to get exact with all of this. Honestly. But I guess while we're at it, we may as well. Just try to get them as close to everything as possible. Try to make it as efficient as, efficient as possible. Is this already... Yeah, that is already tight to there. We're just going to try to squeeze in as many racks in here as we can, basically. Um, for all of this. So let's do this right here. There we go, just like that. We're going to move this guy over here. The labels can be overwritten, which actually I just realized I need to check a config file to make sure that we are good with... Um, that the products can go on... Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to update, update that config file, so I'm going to have to do that here mid-episode because we want to make sure we get everything up and running. Or actually, I guess I could change that before next episode and um, get it up and rolling with that. But uh, we'll, we'll see here. I'll do my best with it and... Try to get this all suited, but uh, we got some lights to get placed down too, so we're gonna have to do all that as well because obviously it's gonna be a little bit dark back in this area now because there's still no lights back here, but we haven't needed them um, since doing this, so that's all right. It's been all right. And again, I, don't, I know we don't have to place these, get these so perfectly placed like this, but honestly, we're going. Oops, actually, you know what? What am I doing? We don't need to be touching these. Yeah, I know I don't have to get these perfectly placed, but. I kind of want to if we're already at it. We may as well. We got so many shelves to get here. Which, I mean, is a good thing. We're expanding, for sure. But yeah, we got so many shelves. We have so many lights to get placed in here as well. We're going to need... I don't even know how many here. Yeah, you guys can kind of see, like, the break in the wall of where this used to end compared to where it does now. It's actually kind of crazy. I guess I'm just going to start by ordering, like... I don't know, 30 shelves, I guess, at that point. Or the storage racks, I should say. So we're probably going to need them here. There we go. It's six grand for those. Oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I didn't even think about that with like our organization uh, mod. With that uh, delivery organizer. Nope. Okay. Yeah, like I said, this is probably going to take a little bit longer with the um, exact placement, but... And with that, with that, I forgot about that. Where, yeah, I can tell it's a little bit like, it's a little bit laggy right now, with having all these boxes out there, most likely. So we're gonna get these moved on over here, like that. I'm just trying to keep things as tightly needed as possible. I know it's not really needed. Yeah, see, it's getting really laggy with having all those boxes out there stacked up like that. Probably being placed so far out of the world, out of the normal realm of the rendering, it's probably causing issues with that, honestly. Let's get this guy bumped back over right there. And there we go. That's looking good. So every time I go out here, it's just, it lags like that. You guys can see the little, little stutter. And it takes a second and it picks back up at that point. I actually, I really like this placement mod because the placement in here is a little tricky in the in the game, so this makes it a lot nicer. We can do the same for the lights. I know it's probably not needed, but again, just trying to keep things looking as nice as possible. I know it's really not needed, but 
my OCD definitely will thank me with that. <laughs> okay. And right like that. We got a couple more to place here. Then we just got a bunch of aisles we're just going to do at that point um, from there, which, oh my god, we still have so many boxes. <laughs> oh boy. We might be able to get, yeah, I think we should be able to get one more rack on this, this back wall here, which I don't know if we actually want. I don't know. I don't know if we want that, actually, because we're going to want to do a back aisle of racks here at the same time. So that might actually be the last rack that we do on this, this wall right here. I don't know. I also don't know how... Hmm. I might actually move all these racks to so they are tight, too, together. Because we have a lot of extra space here that we really don't need. And we're not going to have to really access the extra racks. Or accessing the racks at all, really, by ourselves. We can actually... Yeah, see, we have a lot of wasted space here. So, honestly, I think we're going to actually... Let's do... Right like that. Honestly, it's a little tight, but... It's not terrible. I think it kind of works. And like I said, it's going to allow us to get even more racks in here, which we probably aren't going to need, honestly, but it's always good to have more than not enough. Right like that. We can get these bumped back over now. It's only going to be a couple racks to move. It's not the end of the world. So let's get... There we go, just like that. We get this move back. Yeah, I think this will be helpful, honestly. There we go, we got that one. You guys will see by the last aisle, which I know we already kind of took out the last aisle that used to be the back wall, um, how much space we're actually going to save, but like, just how much space we have right here right now. And then, like I said, this would have been even worse with this next aisle along the back wall right there. So we're going to bump this guy right over here. Like this. Bump it a few ticks back this way. And there we go. We got our next aisle set up right here. Just like that. Looking good. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's get this bumped over and then over here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we gotta move this guy over. We, we honestly might need a bunch more than 30 racks total. I don't know. We'll see. It's a lot of racks we're able to fit in here now because of this. But at least this will help us, honestly, with just keeping things symmetrical. It'll be a little bit easier for placement when we're just bumping them as far over as they can go with the spacing of them. So that'll definitely help out with that. Okay. That's honestly one of the reasons why I'm doing this too, because it's just easier to get everything then we're not having different gaps and everything either and so that part of it will be nice for sure okay there we go so we got that in there i'm gonna move this box honestly just throw it on the rack it's what that's the way everything's gonna go in here it's just gonna be placed wherever pretty much which i know i hate doing i like having the organization for sure a lot better than not having the organization but Again, we're just running out of space here for boxes and things. But you guys can see now we can place stuff wherever we need to. Again, I, I don't really like it this way. I prefer having the organization. But it's going to, like I said, help us in the long run with things for sure. So we're going to get this guy bumped out here. Get it moved over. Look at that. I don't think we could even get that tight before. With, the, with placement of items. And now we were able to just right undo that. It's so nice. Okay. There we go. Grab another one of these. Do it to the back there. I think that one on the end got a little bit out, a little bit back further. So we're going to actually bump. I think this one ended up just a tiny bit offset. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I guess it looks good. 
Okay. But like I said, what this is going to allow us to do then is just end up just being able to place an order of whatever we need, however many items we need, and then that is all we have to worry about. We don't have to worry about items not fitting on the shelves, having to reorganize shelves and all that, of boxes and everything. We should be good, honestly, for a long time for items. Okay, let's get that guy placed right there, and there we go. I mean, look at that. I know it's, like I said, a little bit tight, but it's not awful. And we got so many more to go down this way. That's actually insane how much we're going to be able to do. And that means how many racks that we're going to need here. Probably still. What I should do here, actually, is just start going down the one aisle, the back, this first rack, all the way to the back wall, and see where it's going to end up and how it's going to look at that point. I don't think we really need that second shelf for, for 10 grand. I really don't, or that second level for 10 grand. I really don't think we're going to. Honestly. I think we'll be okay without that. Where is, why is this, oh, there we go. I'm going to say, why is that not allowing us to place that? I feel like that should be tighter than that, but maybe not, I guess. Yeah, I'm just going to go down this back wall. That'll give us an idea, that'll give us an exact amount of how many shelves we actually need here. Um, based off of that, and then we'll be good to go. There we go, we got that. I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to like this episode, honestly. This is just going to be organizing these racks and getting them in here. Like I said, I know we're losing the organization of the racks, the items on the racks itself. But it is going to be well worth it for us not having to worry about organizing stuff all the time. Which I just realized I should have really been placing lights. I might actually do that, honestly. Place lights down before we uh, get too deep into the racks itself all over. The place. Okay, again, we'll line it up close here. Really? Okay. I feel like we got further in on that one than some of them. I think it, like, goes off. So it, like, has a grid system that this placement thing goes off of. But it also, at the same time, it's wherever you end up free spacing it, and then it, it, can, it starts a grid system from there. So I feel like things end up just a little bit off and different sometimes, but maybe it's just my imagination with that. Maybe it actually is an actual grid system to the ground uh, with that. I'm actually glad that we're doing this in its own episode at this point, because this is going to take a whole episode to do all this, honestly, especially with us doing a little bit shorter episodes right now. But like I said, this will give us an idea at least of how many items we need of each uh, kind. And then we can order any more if we need to at that point. Or we can sell whichever extra ones we have. Okay. So we need like probably three more racks. We might be able to get we might be able to get um we'll be able to, be able to get another whole aisle of racks, but we might be able to get another back one over here. I think we'll be able to. We'll see. If we can, it's not the end of the world. We already have so many here. And so I'm just trying to get these placed as tight as possible because it's coming down to the wire on these. Which I honestly probably could have moved these back a little ways too. Yeah, I think, uh, well, maybe not. Maybe it's going to be, it might be just short actually looking at it right now. Okay, we'll see if we can. If we can't, not, it's not the end of the world. Let's see here. I'm really hoping so, but yeah, it's going to be short. Okay. Well, that's all right. Can we get another rack in here then at least? Oh, we can't. Dang, we're just short of just shy of that. Okay. Well, that's all right. Honestly, we can use it as we can use it as a kind of back storage area if we need to or it's a good walking space, I guess, to have that open like that. That's fine. Not the end of the world. Could have been I would have I would have preferred to have that like that, but oh, we actually have used quite a few of them. <laughs> so we need what? Two, oh wait, one, one, two, three, four, five, five up more aisles here times four. So we need 20, 20 shelves. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need 13 more. Actually, not as many as I thought. So that's actually good. We need it's basically, well, what it's going to turn into, it's going to be, hmm.
I think what we're going to turn this into is just basically one light per, not one light, but one aisle of shelves. And then we'll do the whole line down here like this. And then again, lights per, per rack of the shelves. I'm just going to throw some, I'm going to have to start moving some of these out of the way. Like that, just like I said, just get them out of the way for now. These can slowly move over here. Which actually, these are going to change in any way, so I really don't need to do that here for now. Let's get that place like that. Something like that, and then these guys are going to get moved out of the way. I'm just trying to be as efficient as we can, too, especially not having to purchase a ton of lights for all this, and we really don't need to, and then we're obviously going to be paying more for our electricity every, um, every day. Okay, I can't even grab this light because our shelves are getting in the way. So that's great. This is why I wanted to uh, do these before... Okay, let's get this one out of the way here. This is going to move... These are going to move down just a bit. Like that, as will this one then. So we just need a row right here then. Oh, wow. That really ended up off. Kind of a combination of both, I guess. There we go. That looks decent. I know it's not perfect. I know we should be using our um, our system of stuff here, but that's all right. I'm just going to move these out of the way. I was I was going to just grab a box to do that with, but I'm just going to do this instead. Because yep, we can grab both of these, so that's good. Oh, wow. Really hard to tell the perspective of where the lights are actually placed like that. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a little tricky to place these back in here, but we should be all right. Okay, there we go. Actually, not too bad. But yeah, so then we're just going to have to get the rest of these placed in, which we already kind of got these. Got some of these right here. Let's grab the ceilings are just too high to grab to reach these, honestly. Okay, this is gonna get really tedious actually. I don't know how I'm feeling about doing this like this now. <laughs> so we have one, two, th actually only like four rows of lights still to go in. So actually not too bad. That one might actually be well perfect. And honestly, it's still pretty well lit up in here. I think I'm just going to stop getting as tedious with it. But so we need one more light there to finish that off. And then we need three, six, and nine. So ten lights. It's so actually not as many as I thought. So let's get ten lights ordered. And then we had said 13. Sh well, I'm going to wait to get the rest of those. I'm going to get the rest of these boxes out of here at the racks before we go and, before we go and grab any more of those. There we go. We got that. I wish we could carry multiple boxes together. That would be really nice. But that's all right. Not the end of the world. There we go. I think that looks pretty good, honestly. It's a decent amount of light. It's not like completely lit up and bright in your guys' faces as well. I know some of you guys were saying that like the lights are just way too dang bright and it's actually really uncomfortable. So I do apologize on that. I was actually going to adjust that. A little bit if I can. It looks like I can adjust the um maybe it's also maybe it's also looking like that for you guys because we're on a low a low quality too. So maybe that's not helping with anything with that. Maybe it'd be a little little more actually realistic and darker if it wasn't um so low a quality. 
So again, I do apologize in that. I'm trying again. I'm trying to um, work on getting that solved for you guys to um, have a better better experience and looking better. Okay. So we got these right here. That's looking fairly good, I would say. Yeah, this episode's definitely going to end up probably a little bit longer here, but we're going to get all this taken care of, at least in this episode here, and then we'll come back in the next episode and try to actually take advantage of it and start using all this new fancy storage that, we ha that we'll have. That's what it's all for. To actually use it, not just, not just for looks. <laughs> it's function over form. Okay. Honestly, pretty good. Like I said, I know it's not perfect. The shelves, I'm trying to get a little more exact because we were trying to get as many many of them, them in as we could. But uh, honestly, it doesn't really need to be dead on perfect. It really, it really does not. So there we go. We're going to finish off these two other lights. So we'll get the rest of the shelves in. And we should be about good to go from there. I just need to change that conf the uh, config file as well then to allow for empty shelves to be actually have a spot for items to go on and then we should be good to go and so like I said we'll end up doing that here before the uh, the start of the next episode with all of that but there we go I think it looks pretty good like I said it's definitely not exact oh we got one extra light here that I was not supposed to leave so we're gonna end up boxing this up and we'll sell it back to there because we're not gonna need it I guess I could have saved it because we're gonna need more lights eventually for the rest of the store but that's all right. It's only a little bit of money. It's not not the end of the world. There we go. So we just got the rest of these to get placed in. Like I guess we need to get um, 13 more, I believe, ordered. And then we'll be good to go at that point for all the rest of these. Yeah, you guys can see how these are lining up together on the lines, like at the intersection corner. Where four, all, four of their, all four of them are meeting up. Just a little bit off, but that's okay. We're... We ended up pretty close on uh, all of these. Oops. That's right. We are over here. Which a bunch of you guys were telling me to get this mod for the storage room expansion because it's very much helpful um, to have for a bunch more space like this for all these racks. I can't wait to sit. I can't wait to take a look, take a step back and see what this actually is all going to look like with it all said and done. Okay, so there's that. I know if we really wanted to get crazy with it, we could actually take out this back wall and then extend this aisle out one. And probably get some more racks in here, actually. I'm not going to go that crazy with it, because I think we got plenty of space, even with the rest remaining amount of items that we're going to have in the game. I think uh, we're sitting pretty good with everything. Okay. There is that. I'm a little disappointed that we can't get a back wall of shelves in, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. Could be a lot worse for sure. Okay, holy crap. I feel like we're getting really close with this one. But that's good. Okay. Oh, we got two more here, so actually it might be less that we need than I thought. Because this will finish off this rack. So yeah, I think it is going to be one less than I expected. I think it might be 12 that we need to order. I didn't realize that there was another box inside the one. Okay. So that means we had to order 42 more racks. Which is just insane. That we're able to fit this many more with the, just this expansion. We still have another section of the expansion technically. Or the, the storage room that we could add in if we really needed to. Okay. So there's that. Yeah, we need one, two, three aisles, and there's four per one. So yeah, 12 more for that. So we're going to go ahead and order 12 more of these then. Okay, we still have 45 grand. So that is not too bad uh, left over, and that is all of our items stocked up here, I believe. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I might, I might need to do a little bit, but we're not uh, sitting too bad with all of this. There we go. We got that. We got 11 more to get placed. And then, oh, okay. Well, that was a little bit bugged. 
just hanging in the air like that. That's all right, though. We got it's fixed and working. There we go. We got 10 more to go. I would hope that some boxes wouldn't get stuck like way up top where we can't reach them or we'd have to build like a ladder out of boxes or something to, to reach up there. That would actually be a little crazy. Probably wouldn't be worth it at that point <laughs> to do that. But I think we'll be okay. We got a couple more to grab down and we'll be we'll be good at that point then. Okay. Yeah, we kind of did the same thing in here with all of our lights, kind of just having like I with the lights with the aisles themselves rather than just scattered everywhere. So I think it, I think it's a good fit to have that same setup in here as well. So let's get oh wow, look at that. We placed that actually per dead on right there just with by moving the mouse. That was like a first for that. Okay. I am honestly amazed at how many racks we are getting in here, though. This is actually a little bit crazy. Okay, so there is that. Got a few more boxes to go. We are almost there. We got this aisle to finish up and then just the last aisle to do, and that is, that is going to be it then. There we go. We got one more on this aisle, and then again, just four more. So we got five left to do. And then we are all set for this uh, final storage room, the way it's going to look, I guess. Unless we do the, that, like I said, that like loft expansion or whatever that is, which I really don't know if we need, especially if it's going to have potential stability issues. I really don't want to mess with it. I did notice too also something I was going to mention. So last episode we had the issue with like the less customers. So I wasn't sure if we we're going to keep the storage thing. Which I think something happened with just like a little fluke thing. So the end of the last day we got our normal amount of customers like 140. And also our electricity bill went back up to normal. So if you guys remember too in, in the episode we had the electricity bill that was like super low for whatever reason. Like I said now it's now it's back to normal. So we are good with that. So I think everything is well and good with the game now. Which I'm assuming is probably because we installed this uh, storage room mod, so I think it had something to do with that. Um, but that's okay. Like I said, it's back to uh, normal for all of this, so we're we're all good to go. Alright, we got one last rack to put in, and we are 100% done with this organization. Er Putting, placing all the new racks and new lights with the expansion, and we are ready to accommodate a crazy amount of products in here. And there we go. That is that. Like I said, I would love to have had one on the back wall here, but that is alright. We don't necessarily need it. It's not um, needed for sure. I mean, we have so many storage spaces for there. What does this look like now for the products? So I think it's just going to tell us like when we get low on something at that point. But yeah, I think we should be okay. I mean, now basically when anything is yellow, we can order it at that point. Honestly, I might actually just do that right away. Let's just place an order for like everything. Oh, you know what? I just realized we're not going to be able to until the config file is different. Which I should be able to manually put stuff on the rack still. So let's go ahead and this might be a mistake, honestly, because we're going to have so many items that are not going to go on the rack. But I just want to see what it looks like with some items in here and how it actually randomly places them in. I, I'm kind of curious to find that out. See what it all looks like. It's going to get a bunch of those. If it's if it's red, for sure, going to order a bunch. Get a bunch of those. We'll get some of these. I wish that we could have like a a saving a mod that would save the um oh dang it it's not gonna even let us do that. Okay, I'm gonna have to change the uh config file then, which we're gonna get that taken care of here before the start of the next episode. So we'll get that all taken care of. So if you guys are stoked in that and want to excited for that, be sure to tune in to, for tomorrow's episode. 
and uh, we'll get things or organized in here and get it all put together. So if you guys enjoy this, be sure to drop a like in the video, show it some love and support. If you guys are new around here, checking this out, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. So you guys don't miss out on any videos that we're doing here, but thank you all very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.